kind of talking about other news is that they released the companies that received the uh, the COVID payments. Oh, PPP loans. P- yeah, all the loans uh, from the government, right? I, I don't know how they worked yeah. it out. Mm-hmm. But um, but you can look it up by state. Uh, we'll put in the description a link to where you could download it. I have it downloaded, but it's a huge file. Uh, so, but um, it's interesting to go through, especially like local communities. You see some names on there. I don't think I saw Lindsay, but I saw a couple of Visalia, some Sacramento. Um, um, but just interesting to see who got it and who didn't. And I, I don't know if they released how they calculated that, mm. but I would like to learn how they did that. Me and my girlfriend had this debate about, I, she, like I said, man, like San Francisco, a lot of the museums got like five to 10 million. I think most of them got five, 10 million loans, but it was because that's what it just said next to the, in the column, right? Five, 10, five slash 10, which five million, you're just going to leave a dash money. there, right? Five or 10 million. That's a big jump. Oh, that's a huge fucking jump. But it's, but and lot, do they really need that? Like, does a museum need $10 million as an emergency relief fund? That's supposed to be geared towards helping your average small business owner out? Well, with the left and right being so versus each other, Nancy Pelosi's district and mm-hmm. her and Trump obviously hate each other. Right. And then um, to see all that myself, I was like, oh, maybe the city decides. Like it just maybe trickles down to the governor and the city. I don't know. But yeah, uh, I was surprised to see a lot of San Francisco museums on there. Um, and I was like, oh shit, they got a lot of money. And I was thinking, oh, how easy is it for just like one CEO to be like, I'm just going to take 500,000 off the top. Cause compared to right. mine, that's, that's you know, dropping the, drop in the bucket. Pan, right. So, uh, did you see my name on there, Jay? I looked your business up. Didn't see, I looked up some other business owners. I Cause I didn't on. get shit. A lot of small business that I know didn't get shit, but and I, um, and I applied. Yeah. So uh, it's it. So we got in this debate. Like, why aren't small? Bi- this is bullshit. And my girlfriend, you know, playing devil's advocate, which we always do to each other, said, um, "Well, they they probably provide more jobs, and the economy's so shocked. Mm. We need more jobs." I said, "Okay, so that makes sense. I get that. But does this make sense during tax time? We're treated as equals." Or yeah, they right. might even pay less through certain uh, corporation loopholes, like mm, or nothing. Yeah, or just a percentage above. Because I guarantee, when a small business and a big San Francisco museum or whatever big corporation out there goes to do taxes, there probably isn't a ten million uh, percentage difference. There might be a ten million <laughs> in profit because that's a percentage. Right. Work, but I don't. So it's a, I don't see how that equals up because. If the small guys got to do what the big guy do, and obviously the big guy goes up, there's a small percentage changes, sure. but nothing drastic like where you get 10 million, fuck you. Mm-hmm. You know, so I don't get, if it, we're going to play that game, then we got to play it across the board is what oh, I'm absolutely. saying. absolutely. Major imbalance, man. Yeah. And you know what? I think the first round of PPE loans, and I think it's payment protection plan or something like that. Uh, the first round, I think they said is $500 billion. It's a lot of fucking money. And so me and as well, I'm in a small business group where there's 45 business owners in this networking group. And so I was communicating with people. People are happy, right? Oh, yeah, I can sure use that. You know, I have a small business. And, you know, for me, I didn't have any employees at this time. It's just me. I'm kind of like, well, you know, that would be cool. But whatever, if I don't get it, whatever, I'm good. Um, It turned out that money was fucking gone like in a week. $500 $500 billion gone in a week. And so everyone I talked to, no, I didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. No, I didn't get it. And then you, next thing you know, you hear in the news, like, oh, you know, this big old fucking multi-billion dollar corporation got $10 million. This corporation got $10 million. And so these some of these companies were getting huge fucking flack, man. Social media and, and, and regular media. And, man, I can't believe this company. And some of the companies gave it back. And they, they said, fuck that. I don't want this fucking bad juju. You know, I'll yeah. just give it back. Yeah. And a lot of companies did. And then they had the second round, which I think was another $500 billion. Uh, and then a lot of that. Then I started knowing business owners that did get some of that money. Um, but then, shit, more recently now, they said Kanye West had some businesses that got some money and, mm-hmm. and other huge businesses. And it's like, God damn, these motherfuckers. It's a huge list. Like I was like, I'm going to dive through. It was like a, also Jeffrey Epstein's list. Maybe we'll leave that in the description. Uh, mm. I can't tell if it's the old Black Book, you know, Black Book with everyone's names, the new one. But I looked up a few people in there. You could download it. Also, a big file. Maybe we'll leave a link in the description. But it's... Um, just hit a modeling big corporations and it's so hard because luckily epstein had the names when we're looking at a corporation people go hide behind names right. and corporations oh, so yeah. it's hard to know who owns this who do, you know and that's the problem with politics and mm-hmm. corporations being above politics being right. above the government basically but um yeah it's interesting to look down that list and just i'm just curious how they came to those decisions and um yeah be, i need to educate myself on that and learn a little bit more and you know what? I even know some people that, um, because again, I, I applied, I got denied. And uh, my uh, reason for denial was my credit. I have bad credit. 
Um, do they? Do what? What was? Sorry to cut you off, but what was the application like? Do they know your money you're making? The out? Like how do they? Very simple. I mean, it was fucking super basic, man. It took me literally like seven minutes to apply, and oh, it was shit. yeah, it was, and then they did that intentionally. They wanted it to be easy so they can get the money out quick. Okay. Uh, and it was essentially like how much money you made last year, how many employees do you have, how much money they made, and like your business EIN numbers, like identification number yeah. for your business, and uh, just some general fucking info, man. And so I sent that out, and then they sent me back, and they asked a couple more questions and I sent that back um and so it was it was very simple very basic but when they denied me um you know I tell my coach I told my bank and they're like oh no they shouldn't be judging that off your credit because this is not a credit thing this is a, a payment protection plan right if you're struggling they're going to help you and so like no 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 you need to go back and, and here you know go through this bank and this and that and at that point I was like you know what I'm good like I, I really don't need it I've been running my business off cash flow I never taken out a loan like if I wanted to call it quits right now I totally could yeah and I like that I like not owing people money you know so I just whatever but I do know other businesses who are very similar to mine no employees just one person and they got the loan uh, only because they're like, fuck, 3%, why not? I'll, I'll take a $10,000, 3% loan any day, you know? Yeah. Uh, and I get that, you know, but I, I was just like, nah, fuck it, I'm good. 